So we hear the Huawei MateBook launch. This is the first time Huawei is launching an Intel device. So, uh, so who are you? Hi, I'm Kirk Skalgan. I'm Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Client Computing Group at Intel, responsible for the quarter level processors. So uh, you have this tight mark partnership on this product with Huawei. So how, how does it work for Intel and Huawei to work together and launching something like this? Well, we've had over a decade of working together with Huawei in data center and the server business and communications infrastructure, and now we're extending that uh, really due to the amazing performance and battery life we're seeing to extend to a new PC entrant with the MateBook today. So the 2-in-1 has been on the market for a little while, and, uh, and now this is the next level of 2-in-1? Yeah, so I think what we're seeing now is really some of the most beautiful devices we've ever seen in the two-in-one category. We're seeing uh, about 40% of the users that are buying two-in-ones now actually saying that they would have purchased a premium tablet had they not bought a two-in-one. We're also seeing a refresh of about eight to 12 months for someone who's out there refreshing a traditional PC. So we're basically able to deliver with Core M now a completely fanless design with something that's almost three times the web productivity of something that's uh, in the installed base of a PC, say, about five years ago. So, And the uh, USB Type-C is really useful for that? You want to have a very thin form factor and have a dock for all the different ports? Yeah, I mean, as we're getting down, and you saw today, the MateBook's under seven millimeters uh, and under 700 grams. And with that, we're actually getting the connectors being uh, the bottleneck to the Z height. So um, that's that's part of the challenges we had and we're super excited that both Thunderbolt and USB-C now are on a single connector. And uh, as a result, we're gonna see a ton of new designs on sixth generation core around Thunderbolt as well. So it's uh, it's very small nanometer, it's very long battery life. Uh, yeah. This, yeah. Is the, this is the latest Core M. Yeah, so with uh, sixth generation core, we announced levels to the core family. Uh, M3 for entry, M5, and then M7. So you can have a whole range now, just like you have been traditionally used to. Uh, obviously, last MWC, we launched that on the Atom family as well, X3, X5, X7, to differentiate our uh, Sophia and our Cherry Trail products. So I think people are used to this 357 sell-up uh, methodology. And uh, so again, 10, 10 hours of battery life, uh, you know, thin, about half the weight and half the thinness of a traditional five-year-old PC, and now there's about, I don't know, 600 million PCs out there that are uh, four years or older that these products can target. And to have very good productivity is very important for the device maker to make a very nice keyboard and mouse pad experience, right? So I guess there's a lot of uh, uh, effort into that area as well of uh, getting a good keyboard on the two-in-one. Yeah, I mean, the whole concept of a two-in-one, it was a no-compromise no device. So we think from a, to be a two-in-one, you have to have the best of a tablet, kind of instant-on capability. You saw that today with the fingerprint uh, reader. But you also have to have a keyboard and a full Windows experience, because we're giving people access to millions and millions of legacy applications that has been why Intel architecture has succeeded so well in business. So you get the you know, battery life of a tablet, you get the weight and the thinness of a tablet, but you're getting in here, you know, an amazing keyboard with amazing travel, uh, so you can not compromise on productivity. Um, at Intel, our view is people consume and they create human beings by their nature, right? And so certainly a lot more consumption is being done on a phone and a tablet, but we still need to create, and people don't want to necessarily have to carry around both a tablet and a PC. And with these kind of devices, we think you can create. Uh, you know, I think they said today 30,000 uh, types a day for an average business user. Uh, you want to have a great keyboard, uh, but not compromise when you want to take it apart and put a tablet together. And on the slideshow, you were saying 1.4x uh, increase in the market of yes. the growth. That's 2014 to 2015. So uh, did you announce how many that is? Uh, no, we didn't, but we basically said uh, it's the second fastest growing category of mobility now after the phablet. Uh, so while traditional clamshells have uh, shrunk a bit, uh, we're seeing the total market for two-in-ones growing over 40%, 14 to 15. We're expecting another uh, really strong year here as we get people like uh, Huawei, and you saw the Samsung Galaxy announcement, not the PC side of Samsung, but the Galaxy side, uh, also launching a core product with uh, Windows 10 full as well. So you're starting to see some of those people you traditionally have viewed as phone or tablet vendors uh, entering the PC market. What I think is really awesome is this Microsoft device that has a dock and you uh, output the continuum. This is, a, this is a really big deal also, right? Are you uh, working in the continuum? Well, I think the continuum, the continuum for us will be uh, will be interesting. I think when you can take a, a Core M class processor and you can dock it and get full capability and full application compatibility. So I think, especially in business, for continuum to be successful, you're going to want uh, the full compatibility uh, that comes from Windows 10 full.